Where should you store the set of validation rules in Laravel? Do you validate in controller, in form request? If it's form request, should it be same or different for create and update form? What if validation rules are almost the same for create and update? Can we reuse that? Let's talk about all that in this video with an example of user form partly generated by our quick admin panel. So if you want to generate such admin panel, use quickadminpanel.com. But now let's take a look at the code. So user form is processed by a store method of user controller. And as a first example, I've been performing the validation directly in controller. So first I'm checking for the gate, if that person has a permission for user create and I have that as a gate created elsewhere. And then we do request validate. And in my case, it's an array of rules. So every rule has an array. So you probably, you can simplify that to just name required like this, but this is how our quick admin panel generate the rules. They're always an array. So it would be easier to add or remove more rules in the future. So roll back. And then in the update, a bit below update, it's pretty similar. We're doing request validate, but with a little different set of rules. What is different? Password is not required for the update. So field password isn't present. And then this rule, unique user's email, except for the current user ID. So we can reuse the same email as current ID. So this is one way of doing that. Put that all in controller, all the rules as array or a string, whatever you prefer, but in controller. But in my opinion, controllers are not the best place to put in validations. And according to the theory, controllers should be as short as possible and all the logic should be elsewhere. So that's why a long time ago, form requests were created, form request classes. And I've created the classes store user request and update user request separate classes and copied those rules to here. So authorize is responsible for allowing the gate. So same gate allows user create is the same as abortive gate deny. So it's even shorter and request validate becomes the array of rules. So now we can remove, totally remove that part of the code in controller, totally remove that. And instead of request, we should use store user request. So that's much shorter, right, in the controller. So you know that request is responsible for the validation and you can find the rules in the request. And identical update user request, different permission for user edit, but same logic and different rule here and no password here. Same as in the controller, just copy it here. And also in the controller, we can remove all of that big piece of code. And instead of request, update user request. So this is step one, a better way from controllers to form requests. And now let's try to combine those rules because store user requests and update user requests are pretty similar. Only like 20% of them are different. Wouldn't it be cool to store those rules somewhere in some file as an array and then change them, only change that part that we actually need for a specific request. And the way how people do that, I've seen people do that, is store them in the model. In the model here, app user model, you create a constant called validation rules or whatever, and copy the minimum rules, which are applicable to both store and update. So in our case, no password required and unique users is the simple version of that. And then in store user request, you can do this. So rules become validation rules constant plus password required. It's just array plus array. It's a PHP operation of concatenation of two arrays. And in update user request, it's really similar. We take the validation rule, we override one of the rules. In our case, it's email one. It's a bit more complicated, but still form requests become more simple and array of rules is set in the user model. I'm not saying it's the best way, but it's another way how to do that. If you like those rules to be stored in the model, do that. And final step, what we can do to reuse store user request and update user request and have one class for form requests for user model. How can we check in the request class whether it's store or update? In fact, we can. It looks something like this. So in store user request, we take the original validation rules and then we can check this get method. For store operation, the method is post. For update operation, the method is put. 
So that's how we can define whether it's creating a user or updating the user. And according to that, we can set rules here, additional rules, or here. And then in the controller, we can totally remove update user request and reuse store user request, even in the update method. And update user request, we can totally delete that file. So this is another way to have one form request class for all your actions and do some if statement magic to change some parts of the rules according to the request. And I will repeat, there is no one correct way here. It's whatever you prefer, whatever you're comfortable with. If you are working in a team, think about how other developers would think, where would they search for the rules. In form request, in validation, in controller, or in the model, they are all valid ways. Personally, what I would prefer is to not store in the controller, so controllers should be as short as possible. And in fact, I have a separate video on that, pretty popular video on my YouTube channel, how to refactor controller method to be as short as possible and move the logic to various classes and various constructions in the Laravel project. So you can watch that, the link is in the top left corner. And if you wanna discuss where to store the rules, shoot in the comments and let's discuss. And see you guys in other videos.